It's a vertical takeoff drone. It's a drone that we've developed with Meat and Livestock Australia. It has a capability of uh, flying for two hours, a couple of hundred kilometers uh, range, and it's got multi-spectral cameras on it. Very, very important, obviously, and helps you with that decision making. All right, so first thing we'll be getting out is the GCS ground station. It's a central operation for our Volante, where all the relays and commands are sent to the drone for it to fly. So we've got our transmitter, which works through a PPM pass-through direct to the RFD 900, which connects it to the drone. So this way the pilot can stay in direct communication with the GCS operator. Next step is we want to power the ground station. We do have a built-in battery, but when we're on field and have the resources available, we prefer to use the generator. That's the next step. Grab our cable out here. So this is what plugs into the generator. This will also act as to charge the battery in the GCS unit itself. So now we're going to boot up the computer and we're going to load up Mission Planner and get the software ready to fly the drone. While we're waiting for that to happen, we can power up the remote, make sure our, our gimbals are free and correct, and make sure it's on the right model and mode. Grab the drones out of the van. Our next step is going to be putting the entire airframe together. From start to finish, the airframe takes around 10 to 15 minutes to set up, along with the GCS station to get it to a fully operational situation. First thing I like to do is put the tail on. Biggest component keeps it out of the way. All of the connections are quick link. So these quick connections just mean that we can set it up a lot easier. Obviously they're a lot more durable. And these will just slip in like that and secured with pins or bolts. Put the wings on. Obviously these are still carbon fiber with our quick connections. And this is perhaps one of my favourite features of the Volante is the wing latches. As opposed to connecting wings with bolts or screws or traditional methods, just makes it a lot more quick, a lot more secure, just by clicking that down. Push it in, secure that quick connection plug, locate it, and push that latch down. So the Volante is comprised of all carbon fibre, that includes the wings, body and tail, including the propellers. It comes in at around 3.6 metres wingspan and just under 13 kilograms, deciding on which payload you decide to use. As far as flight times go, we do have two configuration options, the 1 23,000 milliamp and the 2 17,000 milliamps. With the 23, it means you can take a heavier payload fly for around 30 to 40 minutes and with the two 17,000s, a lighter payload like the, the Sony A6000 and fly for close to an hour. The first thing I do before I open up the body is I put the pitot nose cover on just in case of any bumps or anything like that. Here we have the camera mount itself. It's all 3D printed back at our workshop. The bracket itself is 3D printed and the mount itself is 3D printed. This can be altered for specific cameras. Basic pre-flights, what I do is I check the antenna alignment, just make sure they're not tangled up and that they're pointing the right direction off at a 45 degree angle. And the props, making sure they're not loose. And checking that all the connection rods and that there's no play in any of the control surfaces. And obviously checking the leading edge for any imperfections or cracks that could affect the aerodynamics of the aircraft. So now that we've done our pre-flights and we've opened up our GCS and checked everything, next thing to do is slap a battery in there, open our mission planner, get our flight plan ready, and go capture some valuable data.